in this video I'm going to show you how I literally hacked my brain to be more motivated, focused, and productive, and how it only took five minutes. I'm gonna go over the science behind controlling your motivation and bending it to your will, then how I leveraged that science to my advantage and got hyper-focused in five minutes, and finally, how you can easily do that as well. Dopamine, you've probably heard of it before, but I want to explain it in a way that most people don't. Dopamine isn't the pleasure molecule. People say that a lot. Dopamine isn't the pleasure the cat gets when it kills the mouse, or the pleasure you get when you see your favorite team score a goal. Dopamine is actually more accurately described as the motivation molecule. Dopamine isn't the cat killing the mouse, but the cat chasing the mouse. It's not the goal being scored, but it's the leaning over your seat as you see your favorite team move the ball up the field. The cool thing is that you can actually leverage and control your own dopamine, thereby controlling your own motivation. A lot of people see motivation as a fleeting thing that they can only sit by and wait for until they finally take action, when in fact you can take a specific type of action that I'll describe shortly that will literally trick your brain into being motivated. Picture your brain as a scale. On one side of the scale is motivation or dopamine, and on the other side of the scale is pain. First, I'll describe the process that you and I and everyone else in the world knows all too well. Since your brain strives for homeostasis or balance, when you push on the pleasure side of the scale, your brain counterbalances with pain. This is why after finishing doom scrolling for an hour or playing video games for a couple hours or really any really stimulating thing for an extended period of time, you feel awful. You feel lethargic, you feel lazy, you feel tired and unmotivated. It's because you pressed hard on that pleasure with that constant stimulation and your brain rebounded with pain. But, 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 the cool thing is, is that you can actually play with your brain by doing the reverse. You can actually push on that pain side of the scale and your brain will counterbalance with motivation. By doing hard things, difficult things, even painful things, you can have motivation anytime you want. Let me tell you a short story to show you how I leveraged this system to hack my focus and productivity. So for a long time, just like you probably, I've been listening to these podcasts and watching these videos and seeing these really hyper successful people. And I kept coming up against this one wall. I was listening to them and I was hearing what they said to do. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't be as productive as them. It felt like with the results they were getting, they must have had an extra 10 hours in their day, especially in 2023. I just had a hard time reaching focus and flow and it just seemed like no matter how many times I sat down and worked even if it was undistracted I just wouldn't have the same outputs as these men that I was looking up to and then about two months ago I hit a low I was sick and tired of being sick and tired so I decided to pull the trigger and I spent $400 on a course this course was called mental mastery and it's by a youtuber named Kenny Bender I was ready to change I learned in this course what I just explained to you about dopamine and how to leverage that system and what dopamine even is and in that course Kenny goes way further in depth and I highly recommend mental mastery for anyone who's looking to reach that next level and after completing that course hear me when I say this it truly changed my life I have an affiliate link in the description if you want to go check it out I couldn't recommend it enough. Okay, so come around a few weeks later and I am very, very, very behind on a video. And that video has to go out pretty soon. But I had a half day at school, so I had some extra time on my hands. And I decided that I'm gonna sit down and bang out the script in one setting. Because I had to, if I didn't, the video might not get out on time. And after scripting for literally hours, I was starting to lose focus. I was checking the time, my thoughts were starting to shift to other things, and I was getting bored. I looked up on my desk and I saw this bag of Ghirardelli dark chocolate macchiato squares. This stuff is the bomb. And I thought, oh, I'll have a little bite of chocolate and that will give me a spike in dopamine and that dopamine will be enough motivation to finish the script. And then no joke, my hand is literally halfway to the bag, right about here. And I remembered what I learned about dopamine in that mental mastery course. I remembered that a quick spike of dopamine will give me a quick fall off too, soon after leaving me empty and unmotivated. Remembering that I can use the knowledge I have about dopamine to my advantage I decide to try something I've never done before. I get up, I go into a completely different room, and I sit down and I start a five minute timer. I decided that I was gonna meditate for five minutes from very, very little stimulation while scripting. Intuitively, younger Noah would have thought I need a little bit of stimulation to kick myself back into gear. But instead, I decided to do what I learned about and do something mentally challenging and difficult that had even lower stimulation in hopes that my brain would rebound back to me some motivation and dopamine. And it worked. 
it worked like literally nothing else has ever worked. You know how hours after doing the same task, after working, you feel like your battery's been drained? Literally in that span of five minutes of meditation, it completely filled my battery, Com full charge. And after that, I was more productive than I'd been in a very, very long time. I finished the script and I had energy through the rest of the night after too. It was this wildly long stream of motivation and energy that came from a counterintuitive source. You've probably caught along with the concept and science at work here, but to be clear, let me show you how to exactly hot wire your brain into giving you energy and motivation. Taking a cold shower or meditating or staring at a wall or stretching. What do these all have in common? They all sound monotonous and not exciting at all? Yes, exactly. That is the exact point. Essentially, you have to do a challenging, non-stimulating, boring, maybe even painful task. But hear me, the non-stimulating part is so vital here. A lot of people think of taking a break as sitting on the couch and scrolling on TikTok for a few minutes or going to get a bite to eat, just like I was gonna do with that chocolate. But this does the exact opposite of what you think it will do. By pressing pleasure, your brain will give you pain. But by doing something that has little to no stimulation, even less stimulation than the hard work task you were doing, your brain will automatically on a silver platter just serve you motivation. A drip of motivation that will, and a drip of motivation that will last longer than those fleeting three night bursts of motivation you get a few times a year. Truly, this was a game changer for me and I'm still learning how to leverage it to my advantage now. But I was literally ecstatic that night and I remember telling my parents, I was so excited that I could actually force my brain to be motivated. I hope you found that valuable and implement that into your own life to double your own productivity. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.